Thank now, you. since it is Pride Month, there are ongoing conversations happening around the world about whether police belong at Pride celebrations, especially now amid a global anti-racism movement. Cyrus, let's start with you. Do you think that police belong at Pride? I mean, I think this is what we were saying in 2016. They do not belong at Pride. What we've witnessed in the last couple of months is, you know, police brutality writ large across the news. Um, we're seeing the violence that can happen at the hands of the police directly uh, targeting Black and Indigenous, queer and trans people. Um, and this is what we were saying in 2016. This, the police in the parade do not make us feel safe or secure. Now, this is a movement from 2016. People have already been successful getting police out of prides all across Turtle Island. And what we're asking for now is to address larger issues of policing in society. And this is where the call for defunding the police comes in. Biko, I'd love to hear what you have to say on this. Thank you. So... I have a slightly different take on the police because I have had situations where I've had to call on them for help because I was in danger. And I've had other instances where I felt unsafe in their presence or I felt let down. So, for example, uh, I was sitting on the board of directors at Pride Toronto when Black Lives Matter had their demonstration. And as a Black person, I remember looking at that and thinking, uh, no matter how I feel about this, when uh, if I ever get, God forbid, killed by the police, the people who will be standing out there protesting and demanding justice for me is Black Lives Matter. And even though as a trans woman of color, I am considered to have some kind of privilege, but for the most part, people who are marginalized, especially trans women of color, have a very checkered relationship with the police and they are the ones who threw the first brick igniting the gay liberation movement giving everybody in the lgbt community their rights so the trans folks are our heroes in the lgbt community so if our heroes are feeling uncomfortable with the police and don't want them there then in the lgbt community we listen to them. However, personally, I have no problem having police come there and celebrate with everybody else. But if they're going to be in uniform, they need to be there working only. Thank you, Biko. Rachel, I'd like to hear what you'd have to say on that as well. Um, yeah, I agree with, um, uh, you know, with, with what Cyrus and Biko pointed out about, um, you know, the roots of pride. Um, pride started as a protest against police brutality, and it was a protest led primarily by um, Black and Latinx trans women, people of color in the LGBT community. So the police presence, uniform police, um, police cars, floats in the Pride Parade are sort of a direct affront to me to the roots of, of the history of Pride. And I think that obviously individual folks can come and enjoy Pride out of uniform. But the idea of giving police or any kind of militarized unit um, a Pride of place within the parade itself um, makes pride unsafe. And I think, again, like I said, it's, a, it's, it's an affront to the roots of what pride was about.